In this video we're going to give a demonstration of how to set up Next PVR um, to receive uh, channels from a set-top box using an analog caption device. Um, and for this particular demo we're going to use Schedules Direct for the listings. So let's head over to the Devices page. Uh, I have one device connected to the machine that's got three different inputs. In this case it's got a um, ATSC, QAM and Analog. Uh, we're interested in the Analog source for this particular demo. So double click on it to bring up the settings. Um, we're going to want to import our channels from Schedules Direct, so let's hit the Import button. Okay, um, so well, let's set the EPG source to Schedules Direct. Okay, it's saying I've got no lineups because I'm a new user, so let's hit Manage Lineups. Okay, we enter our email address, our password, and then we're going to enter our zip code. Um, for this demo, I'll use 11788 and hit Find Lineups. So it's gone off and found a selection of lineups that are in my region. Um, so we'll choose the Cablevision digital lineup, hit the Add Lineup button. Okay, so that's now added to our account. So let's hit the Done button. It's now pulling in the list of channels from the, the lineup that we just added. So there we go, this is the, the list of channels that um, are available. Okay, um, I might not be interested in the channels above 740, so I might select a pile of channels and unselect them. And I'll hit the OK button. Right, so it's gone and created those channels. Um, now, if I wanted to control my set-top box to have it automatically change channels at the right time, uh, so for example, if you wanted to record channel 3, it might tell the set-top box to change to channel 3. Um, you'd use these channel changer parameters up here. Um, I can choose in this particular case um, to use the C program files in PVR HUP Blast because I'm using a HUPARG TV tuner and I've already configured its blaster software to know about my set-top box. So that's kind of the easiest scenario. Um, if you've got another type of blaster, um, there's lots of utilities out there you can use to, to go and configure them. Um, I won't demo some of that stuff in this, this video though. So let's hit the OK button. Now our tune is all set up, but we need to pull in our TV listing. So let's hit, head to the channels screen and hit the update EPG button. Now this is a little bit of a lengthy process going off and receiving, uh, retrieving all the listings. So I'm going to cut this bit of the video a little bit shorter for you. Okay, we've got our listings and uh, now we're pretty much ready to go.